Uh, John, we are here to talk about this uh, head gasket, um, UT12890P. That's the old number. The old, no, I know, but I was just showing off. <laughs> now, um, we have it back, um, back which stock, is yeah, amazing. Yeah. And I know I already posted about the fact that it's back in stock, but I wanted you to discuss um, in front of the camera what the update has basically been yeah. with regard to the testing process. Um, so we're saying in front of the engine that it would fit on. Yeah, correct? one of them, yes. Uh, obviously this was fitted to uh, everything from the uh, Silver Cloud to all the way up to the red label on Nage. So um, we buy this from uh, Cooper Payen, a uh, division of Federal Mogul in South Africa. They're the supplier to Bentley Motors and we became aware through uh, uh, our network uh, in the trade that there were problems with some of the gaskets coming from uh, uh, Bentley and because we were buying them from the same source we contacted the manufacturer and asked them what we should do about it. Uh, the problem manifested itself basically with uh, leakage of coolant, sometimes oil but mainly coolant, basically once the gasket had been replaced uh, but before anything else happened, before the engine was run, you'd have coolant leaking from, uh, from the back of the cylinder head uh, or from the bottom and uh, quite an odd thing to happen. We, so we spoke to the manufacturer, they said yes, you should freeze your stock and you should send it back to us for inspection. And it's been several months now, hasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Well, it had to, that we had to go through, it went through 100% inspection. Uh, Fortunately, it turned out that our gaskets didn't have any problem. They were all within the drawn specification. So uh, we, got the, we got them back. They're now back, back in just stock. Just last week. Just we're, last we're week. We're almost out of them, but we've filled we've, the we've had a, We had a short this. batch back. Um, we've, got, uh, we've got another large uh, batch coming back in in the next few weeks. Okay. Um, so they're back in. Um, as we understand it, the problem, uh, not on ours, but, but the problem that was... Uh, that, uh, was happening was because of the, I don't know whether you can see in here Michael if you can get close, you can see that there's a, a lip here, this is on the bottom of the gasket and this lip engages with the piston liner which obviously stands a little bit proud of the uh, of the crankcase. Uh, as I understand it and this is not my, this is not gospel because I wasn't provided this information directly but as I understand it the problem uh, that was that this, the difference in height between this part of the firing and this part of the firing was incorrect and that was lifting the gasket uh, away from the crankcase and coolant was able to pass it. So now we know that that problem uh, doesn't exist with mm -hmm. ours and they're back and available to be sold. And you can trust the stock, we're still, still selling it with the same warranty? Same warranty. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. And are there any secret future plans you can tell me about the well, uh, there next are, step, stage? For yeah, the there step? is. The, there, are, there is a bit of a rider with this. Uh, this gasket was designed for new engines, so what they call green engines, where the mating surfaces are absolutely flat. And if you know anything about engines, as they get older and they get used, uh, those, uh, they begin to twist, uh, you get distortion, you get corrosion, part of the natural process uh, of an engine aging. And of course, that, there's a limit to what a gasket that's designed to be fitted to a new engine can do. So we are now considering making a more forgiving gasket, mm -hmm. uh, which has a little bit more... This material is... Well, this is a, this is a uh, standard replacement for asbestos, which obviously, as you know, has been outlawed. It's uh, the materials on it. It's a, very, uh, it's a very normal gasket material for head gaskets. It's been in use for decades now. But there are materials which are a bit more forgiving, so we'd make one which was a, probably a thicker gasket. Mm -hmm. Um, with more uh, com uh, compressibility, right. so it can take up um, some of the deviations in the head uh, or the or the crankcase. Uh, so, and that's a relatively common process. Obviously, it's quite expensive when you're uh, tooling this kind of thing. So, it's not uh, it's not something that we we expect to have next week. No, absolutely but, not. Uh, but we know that some things some yeah, we're, take years, don't they? They they can do. Yeah. Um, can do. And lastly, so this is for every car from nineteen. That, yeah, from the first V8, Rolls-Royce um, V8 engine, all the way through to, they were still using it on the red label Anage, uh, so it really has done a lot of, you know, it's, it's given us good service, uh, maybe now's the yeah. time for something a bit more. Uh, it's done a good job, and, good. Uh, and they are in stock, as I say, at the moment, um, there is no shortage currently, um, we are expecting our next batch in. Probably three to four weeks yeah. because they're coming. There's a large consignment coming back to us from the factory uh, where they're all checked in um, South Africa. Yeah, sold with a three-year warranty and 100% tested. So.
Thanks, Johnny. No problem. <laughs>